Virgo, it's Aces Week, baby. What's up? What's going on? So this week, we're going to take a look at the Aces as we just entered spring. It's a good idea to do an Aces check whenever we enter a new season or even the new year. So that is the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So let's go over the definition of Aces and Tarot. That way, we're all on the same page. More often than not, people think about new opportunities that they are either creating for themselves or perhaps coming towards them. But B is the most common type renewed aces stuff that's already in play we keep it going for one reason or another ideally because it works for us but if not we need to know that too yeah so i should see a mix of both brand new opportunities as well as possibly renewed ones as well we're going to start with that ace of swords like always take it resonates leave it does not these are general collective readings not one-to-one -one private which is to say they may not resonate at all while that is very frustrating it's also very normal check your placements you will find yourself in there somewhere okay Ace of Swords, any brand new staring thoughts that we just came to a conclusion about, therefore actions, or ongoing thoughts and actions? Show me Virgo, please, and that Ace of Swords. Show me Virgo, please. And that Ace of Swords. Show me Virgo and the Ace of Swords. Show me Virgo, please. And that Ace of Swords. Three cups, nine of wands, two of pentacles. Mm. Should I block social activity, connection, reconnections, or should I go for it? Mm. I don't know. You're saying you don't know. Why is it on your mind right now? It could be, don't get me wrong, general social activity. Bare minimum, three cups, guys. That's getting together with friends, having a laugh, possibly on the romantic side, possibly just on the friendship side. The point is social engagement. It hits us at the emotional level, but it's nothing crazy, though. You're saying nine of wands, two of pentacles. Do I have the time, though? You're thinking about this right now. What's up? Do I have the time? Do I want to make the time? Should I block it? Should I put some investment into it? What should I do? What should I do? It's on your mind. Well, I mean, that kind of depends. What kind of connectivity are we talking about? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see that. Can I get more on that, please? I mean, if you don't like connecting with somebody or a situation, you have your answer. You don't have to force yourself into it, or at least you shouldn't feel like you have to. I mean, if you either want to or you don't, seven of swords, eight of wands, and ten of wands, there's something here you don't want to do, so don't do it. <laughs> That's, that's it. There is something here that would like to connect with you. And you're like, I don't want to connect with you or the situation or the circumstance. I don't know. It's, it's a little convoluted, guys. There's, mm, you associate whatever this is heavily with burden. I don't want to do it. It feels heavy. Nine of wands, ten of wands. And if it feels that heavy to the point where you're like, I don't, then don't. That's it don't you don't have to do anything you don't want to do i don't even know what the heck it is you're just automatically opening up with conflict you're aware of it the invitation to connect with something or someone or a situation it's i can't tell what it is you're just saying i don't like it so i'm going to avoid it at all costs then don't do it you already have your opinion of it don't do anything you don't want to do it'll just create more fragmentation um so there was, you, 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 it's almost like you're irritated that whatever this is even asked. <laughs> and it's like, why did you send me that stupid, and now I have to come up with some shit reasons why I don't want to connect with it or work with it or hang out with it because it's stupid, I don't want to do it. And you don't have to be just like, I'm not available, thanks for the invitation. That's it. I, I, I don't understand why it's, it's it immediately kicking off the spring with this. So it's, it's coming across then as one of those things that you haven't made up your mind on. In other words, you haven't, or maybe you did, and you just don't know how to tell the receiving party. Because it's looking like it's an answer that's a little overdue, it's a little stretched, and it's like you're, you're owing somebody an answer now. Hey, Virgo, you want to do X, Y, Z, one, two, three? And you're like, not really. But now you put me in the position of having to say not really, but I don't feel comfortable saying not really, so I just rather avoid it. And therefore, you're getting more and more questions, <laughs> right? So I would just say answer the question, you know? It looks like the answer or whatever it is is due. And 
if these people care about you at all, they'll respect the fact that you don't want to participate because you don't want to. You don't have to be mad at yourself about it, and you don't have to be mad at them for asking. Give them an answer to their question, and they'll leave you alone, or at least they should do. Because it feels multi-directional. It's not just one person. It's the overall idea of it seems to drain you. Okay, why do they always ask me to do this shit every Sunday and I never want to do it and they never change the thing and I don't want to, they should know by now. They, well, they don't. You're still getting the communication here and you hate it. <laughs> you hate it. So don't participate. It doesn't look like work. It looks like something you could give your time, energy, and effort to, but you'd rather not. But the fact that it keeps coming up is because I don't think you've answered it. So this is repetition, repetition of exhaustion. Again, they're asking again. Hey, why won't they just take my silence for an answer? Because that's, that's not how your situation's working, not with this, you know? So I just say answer the question, do it to the best of your ability, you know? That's it, you'll be fine. You don't want to participate, you don't have to. Especially if you think if it's that much of a pain in the ass, then it probably is. Don't. There you go. I mean, it, it's got to beat dodging that communication or giving half-hearted answers and half-hearted non-committal answers, which in and of itself is a response. But some people need absolutes, so give them an absolute. I really don't know what it is, guys. I just know that you're not into it. Not into it. It does look fussy. It looks tiresome. But it also looks low-functioning. It wouldn't need too much. I think that's what makes it hard for you, huh? Because it doesn't need too much of your time, energy, and effort. So it's hard for you to feel like you can decline it appropriately. Am I right? Because it is just that little thing. But it's just that little thing that comes up over and over again. And you want to turn it down every time. So you know to expect it. Ace of Swords. And you know how it is it's going to be treated or how it's going to play out. I mean, just put your foot down and say, I don't, I'm not into it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. That's it. You know, I think the biggest burden here comes from you not openly saying, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Once you say that, make that particular decision about that balance. You know, you'll stop getting that particular invitation. Um... There you go, guys. But I tend to be very direct, though. <laughs> For better or worse, it's probably one of my least charming attributes. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. I cannot begin to tell you how many times. Hey, Christina, do you... No. No. I mean... But that's who my real friends are. They're like, oh, okay. And that's it. They accept it. They don't push back on it. They don't try to argue me in and out of things. They just accept it, you know? Because also when I say yes, that means I mean it. It works both ways, you know? Um, it's like I won't say and don't do what I don't mean I say to do. That's it. So decline it. You're not interested. I don't even know what the hell it is, but it, it, it irritates me on your behalf. So just don't. Don't do it. Ace of Wands. Like this shit. Okay. Okay. So this is a recurring Ace of Swords. You've had this thought many, many times. And therefore, you've participated or not participated in this action many, many times. And here it is again. Page of Cups, Judgment, Queen of Cups. Because there's about a couple of other things you'd rather be doing. Experiencing live and feeling inspired by love is one of them. Well, not whatever this is. It's... Mm, <laughs> not much love in there. Okay. Or positive thought. Or feeling. Or action. This, however, you're like, I could be into that. Okay, let's talk about it. Yay, we're changing tune. Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Judgment, Queen of Cups. I could be into that. I could be into that. Live. Is that you? Is that someone else? I don't know. We got a judgment call, though. You're going to listen to that, Ace of Wands? Because your heart's connected to it. A little bit. Makes your heart go beat a certain way. has a certain pulse in there. It's like, huh? I like that. 
Yeah, you do. What is it? Who is it? What's up? <laughs> this ongoing, I don't, what is this fussy state of rejection back and forth? I, I'm so exhausted looking at it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I might finish my thought on that. I just I already feels like a vacuum. I already put too much in there. It doesn't give much back. You know what this feels like? Right when you're towards the end of a low functioning relationship and you know you don't want to be with that person anymore, that's what that kind of feels like. But again, it could be participation, active 3D. You do something with your friends every Sunday or and you just don't want to do it anymore. Something like that. It could be that simple too. But here I see your heartbeat as well as your passion pick up into something that's a lot more solid. At least the idea is here with judgment. Okay. What's up with this? The hermit. There you are. There you are, baby. Yes. Now I'm seeing Virgo. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I want that. Mm -hmm. You just went from nah, brah to a thousand percent yes on this. <laughs> a big difference. <laughs> it's like, and this one, you're like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we have a lesson attached to you here, judgment about listening to our heart. Um, I believe that Queen of Cups is you. But listening to our heart and where it's trying to beat. Where are you feeling your particular pulse? Where are you feeling inspired with that Ace of Wands as well as passionate? But that sense of hope is in here too. So you have a very strong judgment call to listen to your heart here in a very real sense. Here we have the Hermit, you, your power card with the star and the Knights of Swords. You want to take interest to something so much higher. You want to take action and interest towards something so much higher. You want to really heal yourself to a consolidated pathway that's correct for you, that's terribly unique and one that you can take action towards directly, okay? That's a star you want to make good upon and it directly speaks to your heart space and it feels right. It inspires you, it gives you hope, it might even turn you on a little bit, okay? But the idea is that when you think about reaching towards this, you're like, it's actually achievable with the Knights of Swords. This star, whatever this is to you, based on your experience, wisdom, insight, and your particular life that you have lived up to this point, says, Christina, that star actually might be achievable. Knights of Swords. You're saying you might actually be able to claim that star. And it provokes your heart space in very good ways, very health ways, healthy ways. The fullness of it, you can feel it. You can feel the pulse in there too. An exciting undercurrent, but with real value and meaning attached to it. Something that you don't have to question, that you can throw yourself into 100%, claim it and say, this is mine. I feel it as strongly as I feel my own heart, that kind of thing. So you can kind of see the big difference between the drudgery of something we no longer want to participate in. Stop asking me. They haven't stopped. And, uh, or the situation, whatever it is. Versus, uh, this has 100% my attention. I would want you to know, between these big picture concepts that is judgment, the star, and you, whatever it is that calls to you is correct. Something that you don't feel that you have to stop and reject or back out of or find the right words to excuse yourself from it. This is something you can 100% launch yourself into and not apologize for. It suits you. It feels beautiful. And it asks you to open up yourself towards it, all of yourself, who you are as a person. And I think you would give it that, you. I think whatever this is, you would give yourself to it fully. It makes your heart beat. A particular way. I'm very curious about that. Actually, we're going to go ahead and switch. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. It's beautiful. It does feel like a calling. But it is a decision, apparently, you have to make. Ownership of that star, which, again, yours has a unique twist. It's feasible. 
People will show me stars all the time. That doesn't mean they try to go after it. You're saying you actually could. But you have to make that call. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please, for Virgo. Ooh, very curious. Very curious. I don't know what it represents to you. Is it a brand new passion? Is it a brand new field of vision? Judgment suggests second chance comeback call. So I don't quite know. You'd have to take full possession of it either way. You'd have to take full possession of that judgment. Be it a brand new ace that provokes your heart and your dreams and sense of self. Or a second, shot, second chance or a second uh, shot at something. All right. Let's see the ace of cups. Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Magician. So your heart has made up its own mind. Good job. I was wondering where you were going with this. It's beautiful. You are heeding the call. From a place of independence, I choose this, Nine of Pentacles, because I know me, Knight of Cups. This is the direction of my heart flow, the Magician. There's no stopping me. I want this. Your heart wants this. Whatever it is, your heart wants it. So long as you are consolidated, I know it's correct for you. That's it. You really did... See this as being possible, workable. Uh, people don't show me that too often. They show me high levels of desirability. The thing about want, want is easy. Do you have what it takes to go for it? And you're like, yeah, actually I do. Whom you're expressing yourself to, what they represent, I don't know. But the decision is attached to you. Let's uh, let's dig a little further. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stay focused on this, but this keeps distracting me like a fly on the wall. I know it's there. <laughs> and I want to swat it to make it go away because it's so dissatisfying and irritating. But it's not my role. It's not my place. It's not my job. It's yours. <laughs> As I'm interpreting that way because that's how you're interpret. Whatever that is, you don't want to participate with it anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's stay on the path. Yeah, let's see the Ace of Cups, please. So beautiful. Let's just stop and take a moment to take a look at that. Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Magician. It says, I know what I want. And I'm claiming it thusly. There's the decision. There's you backing it up. Good job. Three of Pentacles, two of Cups, the Nine of Swords. We are worried if uh, we'll get participation on the other side. All you can, and that's perfectly normal. Okay. This is where the reality meets our spiritual self. Okay. So the reality is, is that we don't know. You're saying, to pull this off, I will need the participation of someone else. And you're worried about this. Will they feel the same? Will it be reciprocated? You won't know until you try, but you know that that's the consequence you take for going after your star or reinforcing your actions here. You won't know until you try. You're very nervous because you're saying three of pentacles bare minimum. They'd have to cooperate two of cups and kind of hope to God that we, we can get on the same page, nine of swords. You are showing me you are worried about this. But even you admit you won't know until you try, which is why you have to take ownership of these decisions. That way, when you act upon it, you can at least say, I tried. Yes, the star is feasible. You even see how. You pretty much put down a plan for me. You just have to own the decision. Once you own the decision, things will fall into place. Okay? Um, when we know what we want, we start taking steps accordingly. That's all we can do. So what you showed me is 100% real and valid. I'm worried, Christina, about cooperative effort. Will I have that? I don't know, but you're also saying it's not going to stop you. Good, because if something like this is going to stop you, you will never know. And then, therefore, you just want to star like everyone else does, right? It's not enough to want. We have to get off our ass and do something about it. And so you are. You're putting yourself out there, and you're owning it. 
I absolutely love you for that. That's wonderful. You're owning it. That's good on you. I know it's going to feel a little weird. It's going to feel exposing. I know. Nevertheless, we must try. Otherwise, we'll never know. And the Virgo I'm looking at says, I got to know. 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 Okay. All right. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles, please. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. No, I'm seeing the fear attached to you. Anxiety. This is an internal anxiety. Will they cooperate? Will we be on the same page? I don't know. But you're all saying I got to find out. I don't know, but I wish you all the luck. I love that you are pursuing that which something means a great deal to you. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, the Three of Cups. In time, you'll be investing in something you actually do want to participate in. Tying it back to the opening, this is something you don't want to connect with. Don't know if it's a who or a situation. I don't know. I just know it's grossly dissatisfying. Ick. And then over here in Ace of Pentacles, I do see you investing in something you do like connecting with. And it took you time to understand that you wanted to connect with this. So here's a good comparison between what I don't want and what I do want. Mm. So it's looking like if you wanted to know if you'd have success, the answer is yes. But terror doesn't dictate action or on whomever that person's behalf is. I just, I'm seeing the outcome as being highly probable for the Virgo who wanted to know. Okay. It feels good. And um, I'm seeing the element of cooperation after all. Okay. So here we have a brand new beginning based on, again, judgment. Here it is. That ace of pentacles. We have to make that decision and own it. It's lovely. I do not know if you are responding to someone else's request to step into that arena that it represents the ace of cups or it's you. Regardless, we are connecting to it because it feels right. Okay. And with confidence, too. Ace of Cups being reflected again. Five of Wands and Strength. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Oh. You're having to really fight that need to guard your heart. To really be open towards this. You're really having to suppress the need to block. That's a unique feature. Why? You're connecting successfully to this, but every now and again you seem to have to pull yourself aside and say, do not block, do not block, do not block. Allow yourself to be open to this. It feels good. Trust it. Trust it. It feels good. It feels good. It feels good. Right? And it does. It's a little scary for you to put your whole cup out there to this situation or person. Your natural instinct is to try to suppress that. To protect yourself, once bitten, twice shy, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That happens. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, it could be their receiving cup then, if it's not yours. You showed me the willingness of what you're wanting to do to bring this together. Perhaps that is their reaction. I don't know. Someone is showing me the need to not protect their cup, to leave it open, to leave it vulnerable, to trust what they're experiencing with you or you with them. Regardless, we're connecting. Strong. Strength of will. Whoever has a very strong sense of this is my will, they're the ones 
that are having to use that strength to not block. And yet I have to insist the participation's here. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to work with. I really don't know who this represents to you. If they're indeed brand new or if they represent a, a judgment of choice and ownership and moving towards this, if you understand it's your star in some way, that you deeply desire it, we have to claim it. I'm actually... I'm kind of curious here. Because I really can't tell you if they are new and they represent a choice to step into new or if they represent a choice to step into renewed and really claiming it. We we're doing away with something that did not work. Because of blindness, we could not see. We could not see how it would work. It was shut down. It was shut down. We could not see how it would work, so it got shut down. Queen of Swords, harshness. Cold, detached, hanged man, time of suspension. Ace of Cups. It's renewed. Someone who got close but didn't have a direct path. Or you got close and you didn't have a direct path. Somebody got close to the other person's heart but we didn't have a direct path. We didn't see how it was workable in the real world so it got shut down. We insisted we couldn't see Eight of Swords. And since then, we've had time to reflect serious inquiry about what that means and why and what happened and why. I don't know what the relationship is that was not clearly defined. I just know that it actually has the opportunity to become defined in future. So it is somewhere hovering between new and renewed. It never fully took the first time. But it's not unknown to us either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It is neither new nor old. It was never fully explored. That's the thing about stars, guys. If you want one, and you know you want one, you can see it. You have to know that you can step into it and devote the time, energy, and effort in taking action towards it. Otherwise, you always kind of be left with your hand out, but not necessarily holding on to anything. And um, that's why you're showing me ownership. So regardless of who approaches who, I could give a shit about that. That's ego crap. Um, I don't care about that. It still takes choice. Even if, say, whatever this is, this new but not old energy resurfaced to you, you still have to choose to step into it. You have to know that you want it. And if you are the one who is listening judgment here the way I believe you are, based on strong feeling of correctness and the map of your own particular life, to reach out, you still have to own it. Um, we have a legitimate concern and I would say a rational fear. That's not irrational fear, that's rational fear. There's a big difference between the two about whether or not they're going to cooperate. And um, there you go. I know I'm saying and dumb a lot. I have to remember to keep these bits of stories together. So that would explain, somewhere in that space between new and not old, someone has to work a little harder to remember to keep their heart open, to keep it vulnerable towards this. It's whomever that got close but didn't have a clear path. So... 
I want to jump back over here to this because I'm trying to swat this fly and it's bothering me. What is this? Seven of Wands, you want to block it. Damn, dude. Seriously. What is this? It's a dead star. Ooh. It's a star that once upon a time you saw it as an ace of pentacle, much like you see this, a star and a pentacle. This represents something currently an active day that you don't want to participate in it anymore. Um, I thought it was something quite small. It turns out to be a bad investment, a broken investment, a star path that you no longer travel or wish to travel on. You're saying that that proved itself futile a long time ago, and just the idea of you continuing to participate in it you find exhausting. Low level, low functioning, and you don't know how to quite say it or articulate it yet. This is a truth you're still becoming acquainted with. And I, you showed me something that was so low level. But I thought it was a little overly aggressive for something that was so low level. But I think that's, if I can just use my words, I think that's just how little you think of it now. I think it used to mean something to you. Until you didn't. And that's a hard truth for you to understand, especially if this is a star you used to put yourself into and invest in. You don't want it anymore. So that's kind of a big difference between the Virgo who says, this star is workable. This star, I don't know why the hell it's still in my life, because it's not a star. Not anymore. Okay. See, it's kind of a big fly on the wall then. Okay. Let's do some time checks, please. Where are we? Yeah. Oh. Process with caution. January, last January, might have been very, very important. This upcoming January might as well. On a Saturday, process this whole thing with caution. Yes, of course. We still haven't fully wrapped our mind around this yet. It's with you. But it's not resolved. It's not a sharp thought yet. Afternoon. Okay. Anything else, please? Autumn at noon. By your next birth season. Around here. This is something we're struggling with and we will continue to do so. Right now, the only course of action you have towards it is to block it or not fully give yourself to it. You don't want to participate anymore. But we haven't finalized the action to completely exit it. We still shy away from how to disengage ourselves with it from it okay I there's a reason why I kept coming back to it because that level of restlessness and leave me alone and I don't want to participate it seemed like it was no big deal I just think that's how used you are to shoving off any participation with it So it's a bit more intense and has a higher state of frequency than I initially understood. Blocking this is only going to take you so far. Eventually, if you really want to be done with this, you will have to use the sword as it was intended. Okay? To cut it out. And this, in time. A little further out, autumn. Okay. Virgo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.